Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys, welcome. Sorry, teach. It's okay. So, welcome to your. Hi, can you guys hear me? Okay. You're gonna see Suzanne, and then you're gonna hear me. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Okay. I'm gonna talk you through this class this afternoon. Okay. All right. So, get yourselves ready for your next 75 minutes. And a lot of that is just letting everything else go. And that's, you know, there's a lot right now sometimes to let go of. So just try to feel all that kind of wash off of you. Get yourself grounded, bring your feet together, make your legs strong, make your spine long, pull your belly in, relax your shoulders, and just find a place of focus for your eyes. So if you have a mirror, great, find your eyes. If not, just find one point to focus on. Let's start with our breathing. Interlace your fingers all the way to the webbing, knuckles under the chin, eyes forward, shoulders relax, and begin. Inhale through your nose, letting those elbows float up. Shoulders stay down, hold the air, exhale, head back, mouth open, chest lifted, relax your shoulders, elbows touch, inhale. Again, really pull that belly in, zip that low belly in and up, nice long spine. Exhale, keep that alignment, keep that belly in, keep that spine straight, stretch the elbows forward, inhale. So always let the breath lead the movement in yoga in every single posture, starting right here. Exhale, so you open the mouth, you start the air moving, you let the body follow. So your elbows are gonna touch, 
when those lungs are empty. Inhale, start that air moving, body follows. Elbows at their high point when the lungs are full. Exhale, beautiful. On the exhale, your mouth is open, your throat is open. You wanna feel that air tickling over the back of your throat. Inhale, on your inhale, mouth is closed. You're breathing through the nose, but use your throat. Put the tip of the tongue at the roof of the mouth, open the throat, exhale, head back. So notice a little pause between these breaths. So here, like you exhale, you empty out, you pause. Inhale, and now fill your lungs up all the way. Take in as much air as you can. Take in a little more, pause, hold, exhale. Good, we get a lot of toxins out of our body as we exhale. See if you can just empty out, squeeze it out, and let it go. Inhale, two more in our first set. Try to expand your lungs. So again, fill up, hold it, hold it. Exhale and now empty out. So again, releasing toxins, try to let thoughts and worries go too. Just try to empty out all the way. One more first set, inhale. Deepest breath so far. Again, filling up. Get a little lightheaded here. Take as much air as you can. Exhale, empty out. Just try this slow line with your eyes across the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Elbows touch at the end change. Relax your arms by your side and just take a couple of like normal breaths here in between. And let's do a second set. Interlace your fingers, other thumb on top, knuckles under your chin, eyes forward, relax your shoulders and begin. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, the blood pressure, elbows touch, inhale. So no, you can do this breathing anytime throughout your day. You know, if you just need to relax a little bit, hold, exhale, head back. So you don't even have to move the arms and head like you're sitting in a Zoom meeting or something, right? You can't do that. You can always move the air, inhale. And again, just taking your time, filling up your lungs. You want to expand the lung capacity, Increase the elasticity of the lungs. Exhale. And again, just letting go. Keeping those eyes open. Keeping that spine straight. Try to relax your shoulders. Inhale. You've got that good base. Your feet are grounded. Weights more in the heels. Those legs are strong. Hold. Exhale. Good. That same alignment. Pulling that belly in. Imagine like you got to pee and you got to hold it. Like pull all those muscles in as well. Two more, inhale. Deepest, deepest, deepest breaths. Elbows float up, shoulders stay down, expand those lungs. Exhale again, empty out. Chest lifted, triceps parallel to the floor, elbows touch. Last one, inhale. Deepest, deepest, deepest breath. So fill up, you know, rib cage really expands the diaphragm, the lungs. Exhale to get empty out. Kind of squeeze the side of the body here. See if you can squeeze every last bit of air out and change. Relax your arms on your side. Great start to class if you want to move your shoulders around a little bit, your neck around here. So from now on, just try to remember only breathe in and out through your nose. Let's start with half moon. Inhale, arms up. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Arms locked out. Inhale, up, and just warm up. Right and left here, back and forth. So notice how you feel. Just kind of back, forth, side to side. Give yourself a good stretch. Get your spine ready for this amazing posture. Now we're going to stretch our spine in all four directions here. So getting that warm up, coming up out of your waist. Do both sides equally. 
and then come back and stop in the center. So recheck your alignment, palms together, arms with the ears, chin up, chest up. As you inhale, stretch up to the ceiling. As you exhale, point right, hips left in a nice straight line. We're here for about 50 seconds. So just kind of go where that feels good for you. First posture, first set. So there's nothing to force. Now, if you have a mirror, you can look at your alignment, but if not, that's okay. You can feel it. You want your shoulders in one line, your hips in one line. So if you can imagine like you're pressed between these two panes of glass, you're breathing, your chin is up enough to where you can see your throat visible if you have the mirror. And if not, just imagine like there's a big old grapefruit underneath your chin and that chin is lifted enough to where it just makes it easier to breathe. You can push that left hip past your flexibility and then use your right hand to pull the left arm over for the last couple of seconds. Change, come back to center. Follow your breath as you inhale, stretch up. Pick up your rib cage, exhale left, hips right, up, out, over. This is like water coming out of the fountain. So think about that alignment. You know, your base there with your feet grounded, your weight in the heels, your legs strong, really lift up those quad muscles, pulling that belly again in and up. And then your chest is lifted, your shoulders again in one line, your fingertips kind of point towards like a back corner of whatever room you're in. So again, lifting the chest, you're not bending or compressing at all. You want to create this length. You can imagine, think about making your spine a little longer, thinking about making yourself a little bit taller here. Keep breathing, you know, always in and out through the nose, nice, calm breathing. Last couple of seconds, change, come back to center. All right, first back bend, drop your head back. You can move it around a little bit if that feels good to you. Just, you know, be gentle with your neck and then drop your head back as far as you can. Lock out your arms, inhale, stretch up, Exhale, go back, point back, look back. So squeeze your palms together and try reaching for that back wall. Keeping your chest lifted, stomach, hips, thighs forward. Your heart is lifting up. You've got strong legs for support. Going back. These back bends are so good for your back and spine. Look back, lean back, and change. Now come up slowly. You might get lightheaded for a second. Inhale up, exhale forward. So come on down, bring your hands to the floor and let's do a little warm up here. So walk it out, shake it out, right, left, right, left. Just kind of move it around a little bit. High and low. Kind of, you know, just whatever feels good. Get rid of some of that tension from your day. Squat down, loosen up your knees, roll up on your toes, do that shoulder stretch, whatever it is. This one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So again, just kind of, you know, getting that release wherever your body feels tight, in your feet, your hands, whatever it is. And then let's go ahead and set up for our first set of hands to feet. So bring your feet together all the way. You want your toes and heels touching. Bend your knees, reach around, scoop up your heels from behind or grab your calf muscles, palms face forward. Compress, lift, drop your head. Just come relax your head back. Try to get your forehead like close to those legs. Bring your shoulders away from the ears. Let your elbows come close behind you here. And keep your knees bent as much as you need to. Upper body on lower body. That's super important. So keeping that compression. Lift your hips. Roll that weight forward. Just see what feels good here. Nice 360 degree stretch. And, and again, just an inversion, so you get lots of blood in the brain. This is super, super cleansing. Last few seconds here. Change. Come up slowly. Take your time. Strong arms and hands. Inhaling up. Exhale. Arms flow down. And just be still. Just take a nice, deep breath. Second set, inhale, arms up. Interlace, other thumb on top, release your index fingers, arms locked out. Follow your breath as you inhale, stretch up, lengthen up. Exhale, right, hips left. Nice straight line, just 30 seconds this time. So using that breath, you know, your inhales for length and strength, your exhales for flexibility. 
So as you take that first breath, especially in your second set, just go where you left off in the first set and just see maybe with that breath if you want to go a little bit further. Last five seconds. This is great for your spine. This is great for your waistline. Great for your core muscles. Change. Come back to center. Again, use your breath as you inhale. Stretch up. All super tall. Exhale left. Hips right. Keeping that length and just taking it over to the side. Chin up. Upper body back. If you can feel like someone's hand is gently pressing between your shoulder blades. So you keep that chest open. Make sure those shoulders don't scrunch up around your ears. You want to relax them down a little bit. Feel that stretch down that right side body. Just a beautiful stretch. Fingertips all the way to the heels. Change. Come back to center. All right, relax your head back. You can see how that feels for you. You might move it around a couple of times. Lock out your arms. Now inhale, stretch up, up, up. Exhale, go back. Point back look back. So chest lifted, legs are strong, weight is in the heel. Squeeze your palms together, reach for the back wall. Really relax those arms and shoulders and see if you can start curving your upper and middle spine first and then eventually that whole spine is backward bending. Go back, look back, lean back, change. Now come up slowly, make eye contact, inhale up, exhale forward. So again, come on down. You can bend your knees. You can come down with a flat back or you can like walk yourself down with your hands like whatever feels good to you. So again, getting into your body a little deeper in the second warm-up. See what feels good. See what you need here. Your shoulders, your hands, your feet, your hips. Just walk in place, whatever it is. So we have a, a big change coming on Friday we want to tell you about. We are going to, um, these online classes, we're moving over to Zoom classes. So we're going to be able to see you guys, which is going to be a lot of fun instead of you just seeing us, which is kind of one-sided. <laughs> so they will be on my body, and you will need to sign up before class so we can send you the code to access class. Um, monthly members, yearly members, these they have access to all these. But um, if you just want to do some virtual classes, they're going to be $15 each, or you can do a whole month of unlimited virtual for 49 bucks. And all of that is on MindBody. So check it out. Check out the Zoom classes. I think they're going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and set up second set hands to feet. So feet together again all the way. Bend your knees. Get that compression. Reach around. Scoop up those heels. Grab those calf muscles. Compress, lift, drop your head. Again, keep your knees bent as much as you need to. And if you need to grab your calf muscles, that's fine too. Palms face forward. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Elbows behind you. Again, relax your head completely. Your head is super heavy. So imagine it just wants to fall off and roll away. Just letting that neck release. Letting all that fresh blood go into the brain. Last few seconds here. Again, shift that weight forward. Lift your hips. Get that release. Change. Come up slowly. Strong arms and hands. Inhale all the way up. So lengthen up. Exhale, arms float down and just be still. Take a breath to see how much different your body feels already. Awkward. Right, but steps right. So measure if you want two fists between your toes and heels. That's your perfect distance. Um, it's hip width distance. Make sure those feet are straight on. Inhale your arms up, lock them out, stomach in, exhale, bend your knees. Sitting back like it's a chair too far behind you, uh, just wiggle your toes to make sure the weight is back in your heels. So hips back. Now your arms are strong. Engage your triceps, biceps, but don't stress your shoulders out. Stretch your neck up, drop those shoulders down, belly in, change, come up, arms stay here. Second part, just inhale and float up on your toes as high as you can go. Get the height on those toes, get your balance, and then lift your knees up slowly if you can. And keep the height. So this is great for your feet, your ankles, your quads, obviously for your balance. See if you can find one point for your eyes to focus on. That's gonna help with your balance. Keep breathing. Change, come up. Heels down, arms stay here. Last part, come up a little. Squeeze your knees together, and then you can slowly start sliding down. But listen to your knees. You don't have to go too far if your knees complain on this one. 
So keeping your spine straight is super important and keeping those muscles, like everything from the kneecaps to the navel strong, that's going to help just, you know, really work those legs, that core change, slowly come up, heels down, feet together, arms down, nice deep breath. Second set, right foot steps right. Feel your footprint. You can always measure or look if you need to or just feel it. Feet straight on. Inhale your arms up. Lock them out. Nothing loose or hanging. Stomach in. Exhale. Bend your knees. So again, as you exhale, you go right where you left off first set. Hips back. Stretch your neck up. Drop your shoulders down. Engage that core. You might sit to the level of a chair. Not lower than that, but you know, if you can go there, that's great. Keep breathing, almost there, finish strong, change, come up, arms stay here. Second part, just inhale and float. As you inhale, lift up on those tiptoes as high as you can, and then lift your knees up like there's little strings on your knees. And just again, don't let those heels drop. If they do, go back and lift them up. Most of the weight is to the center, the big and second toes. Maybe those baby toes lift up off the floor, heels up. Heels up, change, come up, heels down, arms stay here. Last part, come up a little, squeeze your knees together, and then stay here or slowly slide down. Imagine you're grabbing that winning lottery ticket between your knees, so the knees stay strong. Spine is straight, arms are strong, like you're sliding down an imaginary wall. Kneecaps to navel, everything super strong. Change, come up slowly, heels down, feet together, arms down, big, deep breath. Just one more posture, then we get a little water break. Eagle, inhale, arms up. Palms together, think about right and left. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left. Cross, twist like ropes. Elbows down, sit low, stay low, and bring that right leg up over around and squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your knees, your inner thighs together. Bring your thumbs close to your face and keep pulling your elbows down. So you want those fingertips maybe one day below your nose, working the seven major joints on each side of the body here. Change, feet together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left side, left under right, using that breath and momentum cross twist. Elbows down, sit low, stay low, left leg high up with control over and around. Squeeze your legs together. Squeeze your knees, your inner thighs together. Point those left toes down. So they may be behind your calf muscle, in which case inch them toward the ankle, or they might point to the floor, or they might come out and help you balance sometimes. All good. Change. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Second set. Exhale, right side, right under left. Lean forward a little bit to get your shoulders into it if they're tight. Cross twist, elbows down, sit low, stay low, and right leg up, over, around, and squeeze. So knees more to the right a little bit. You want everything to kind of level off. So one day hands, wrists, elbows, knees, ankles are just in a line like right underneath your nose. Maybe you go to the level of a chair here. Whatever feels right. Change. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Last one. Exhale, left side. Left under, right. Cross. Twist. Elbows down. Sit low. Stay low. Left leg up. Over. Around. And squeeze. Get your alignment. Find that eagle eye focus with your eyes. So one point to look at. So this is great for your joints, but also for your focus. It's called eagle. Get an eagle eye focus. Think about helping that right brain, left brain to work together better as well. Super powerful. Change. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Ooh, take a breath. All right, party time. Have a little water if you want. Drop your hand to see whatever. And then we're going to come back once you're done and get yourself grounded and start the balancing part of the series here. So keep, stay tuned, social media, and with, um, you know, we're going to send out emails about our soft reopening, possibly Memorial Day weekend, but 
We're not sure yet, we're working on it. We miss you guys, we can't wait to be together again. But in the meantime, I think seeing each other on Zoom is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, standing head to knee, feet together all the way. Plant that left foot, inhale, right leg up. So here, you know, the arms can be by your side. You get a grip two inches below the knee or toes. We've got a whole minute. Working on that left leg. Make that leg super straight. You guys look great. Make it super, super strong. So pull that belly in and up. You're not settling into that hip. Sometimes that's a little bit of a temptation, but you want to stay lifted. You know, we work on building a lot of core strength in this practice. And, you know, this is one of those places we're doing that. Notice that left foot. We're already halfway there. So that left foot, you know, a lot of times with your standing foot, the weight goes to the outside toward the pinky. You want to bring it back to center if you can, and then shift it a little bit more forward. Um, and just see how that impacts the strength of your leg and your balance at the same time. So that quad is engaged. You're not jamming that left knee joint back. You know, you're really using the strength of the muscles that support the knee, um, not just forcing that kneecap at all. Change, feet together, arms by your side. Ground the right foot, inhale, left leg up, and do the same thing. Whatever grip you do on one side, let's do it on the other for a minute. So again, you can have your arms by your side, grab two inches below the knee, or you can round down and grab the foot. Uh, just wherever you go with that grip, you want to make sure that that right leg is strong and really, really working. You know, not just the strength of this leg and the core, but also working on our sense of balance, which is super important in every part of our life. It's not easy to stand on one leg for a minute. You're already halfway there. So notice that right foot. Are you grabbing that mat or towel with your toes? Can you relax those toes a little bit? Is that right quad still strong? A lot of times it wants to relax on you. So just go back, make it strong again. Then breathing. So if your arms and shoulders should be pretty relaxed. Your arms are just like ropes. You got that nice grip. But you know, what's really holding that leg up is more the leg strength and the core strength. Change, feet together, arms by your side. Just take a big breath, big inhale through the nose, and then longer exhale through the nose to come to heart. Second set, half the time. Ground that left foot, inhale, right leg up. Get your grip. If you're ambitious today, go for the foot. Otherwise, stick with the knee or the arms by the side. 30 seconds. So if you do go for the foot, you're grabbing at the ball of the foot, you're rounding down. But that left leg is going to stay strong. It's going to stay locked. If you have the foot, we're about halfway here. If you want to kick out, go for it. But, you know, use your exhale. Don't make it a mind game. Make it about the breath and just easing that heel forward if that's where you're going. If you're holding the knee or you have your arms by your side, you're building strength in your leg. You're building strength in your balance. Change. Feet together. Arms by your side. Ground the right foot, inhale, left leg up, and again, same grip, wherever you go, do the same thing. It might feel different on one side, the other, 30 seconds. It certainly feels different every time you practice. Yes, your balance is different every day, your strength is different every day. So again, this is just an opportunity to learn. No judgment, we're halfway. Good. So if you kick down on one side, again, use that exhale breath, ease that heel forward. One day that leg is straight, you pull back on the toes. One day you can bring your elbows down. And one day, forehead to the knee. Change, feet together, nice work. Stand up tall, just let it go. Get a big inhale, nice long exhale. And you're ready for standing bow. Bend the right elbow, palm up, drop the hand, bend the knee, grab that ankle, knees together, right shoulder back. Inhale, left arm up to the sky. So lengthen like you want to touch the ceiling. And let's go. we got a minute here. Have some fun with this. Kick and reach. Swiping your knees together. And so your kick's kind of straight back away from you. Notice as you kick, you take that right shoulder with you. So you want those shoulders in one line. Really great opening for the chest and the shoulders. As hard as you kick, and it's pretty natural, you'll kick pretty hard. you got to reach just as much. So kicking, reaching, 
We're coming up to halfway. Make sure you're breathing. So sometimes in these huge postures, it's tempting to hold your breath, but you really want to make sure you're moving that air. So kicking, reaching. If you've got a mirror, find a point in the mirror. If you don't, find one point wherever you can look, one unmoving point to help with your balance. If you can see or feel that foot over the top of the head in the mirror, that's your sign to come bring that body down, letting the kick be the engine of your posture. Change, feet together, stand up tall. Notice that right shoulder is more relaxed. Notice that blood and lymphatic fluid kind of swirling back to the center. Bend the left elbow, palm up. Drop the hand in the knee, grab that ankle. Knees together, left shoulder back. Inhale, right arm up to the sky, lengthen up and go again. Just kick and reach for a minute. Having some fun. Noticing the differences between the sides and between the days. Going back to that standing leg. So again, that's the base you built in the last posture. So you can totally go for this here. Using that leg as your support. Shifting that weight forward. Um, again, shifting like you did in the last posture. You're shifting that weight forward to the ball of the foot. Coming up to close to halfway. So again, if you see or feel the toes over the head, just kind of start bringing that body down. Maybe one day chest, abdomen, or parallel to the floor. Keep that arm up close to your face. So, you know, you're not forcing anything and dropping that arm. Because if you drop the arm, it kind of becomes like an anchor. And keeping the core engaged, too. So that's going to help with your balance. Last few seconds. Again, see where you can take it today. Kick. Reach, breathe, change, feet together, stand up tall, not deep breath. Heart rate's up here, lengthen your exhales, calm that heart rate down. Second set's only half the time. Bend that right elbow, palm up, drop the hand in the knee, grab that ankle, knees together, right shoulder back. Inhale, left arm up to the sky, lengthen up, and then let's go. 30 seconds, just have some fun here. Kick, reach, balance, breathe. So again, just take it wherever you want to go this afternoon. Bring that nice, strong kick, that nice, strong reach. Make sure you're breathing again, using your strong core. We're already halfway there. Just kind of see what feels good to you. Kick, balance, breathe. It's always okay to challenge yourself. We all have our place in standing bow we'd like to go. So if you want to go there, cool. If you want to go a little further today, that's always okay to go. Change. Feet together. Stand up tall and just kind of notice that rush. Blood, lymphatic fluid. Bend the left elbow, palm up. Drop the hand in the knee. Grab that ankle. Knees together, left shoulder back. Huge inhale, right arm up. Lengthen up. Let's go. 30 seconds. Again, just have some fun. Kick, reach, and breathe, and balance. It's such a beautiful posture. It's a dancer's pose. It's a warrior pose. Every day, again, a little bit different. So see where you want to go today. Kicking, reaching, belly in. You're already halfway there. Again, falling out. It's nothing to judge. This means you challenge yourself a little bit. So it's okay to challenge yourself and maybe go a little bit further in this posture. See how it feels. Last few seconds. Core is engaged. So then kicking, reaching, balancing, breathing, change. Nice feet together. Stand up tall. Big breath. That's a huge posture. So take a big inhale. Take a nice, long, relaxing exhale. Balancing stick. Come to the back of your space. So feet together all the way. You can always modify and putting your hands on your hips if you need to. Inhale, arms up. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, arms locked out, chin up, chest up. Step forward, right foot. Imagine you're stepping on the tightrope. Shift the weight, left toes near. Now stretch and go. 10 seconds, leg up, body down. Trace a line with your left big toe across the floor. Eventually, you're in that parallel line, abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. Change, step back. Arms stay up. Step forward, left side. Toes, heels shift. Right toes in the air. Stretch and go. Leg up, body down. Again, just that same thing. You're stretching in opposite directions. Your belly is in. You're 
lengthening here. Standing legs strong, both legs strong. Change, step back, and exhale your arms down. Take a breath. So you might notice here, heart rate's up, right? This is a great posture for that heart, that heart muscle. Second set, inhale, arms up. Interlace, other thumb on top, release your index fingers, arms locked out. Step forward, right side, toes, heel, shift. Left toes in the air, stretch, and go. Leg up, body down, beautiful. Keep your hips in one line, arms with your ears. Stretching in opposite directions, belly in. Stretch, lengthen, change. Step back, arms stay up. Last one of these, step left, toes, heel, shift. Right toes in the air, stretch, and go. Leg up, body down. Stretching in opposite directions. So leg up, body down, stretch, and breathe, and breathe. Oh, it's there. And change, step back, exhale, arms down. Sorry, Facebook, we got a little hot. Um, the um, it's, it's charging on the thing. Take a nice breath. All right, so if you guys are moving your mat or anything, go ahead. That's on the left side. But if you guys want to turn or whatever you want to do is fine for the next three postures. Starting with separate leg stretches, whatever you want to do. <laughs> separate leg stretches. Feet together all the way. Nice and short. Inhale, arms up. Take a nice step to the right. Arms down parallel. So your feet are pigeon toed in or straight on. Stretch your arms in opposite directions and slowly swan dive forward. So just lead with your heart here. Come down with that flat back. Once you reach the floor, you know, you can bring your hands in front of you or you can grab your feet or your heels. Totally up to you. What feels right for your back and spine? So you want a straight spine as much as possible. Um, you know, your knees might be bent, especially if you have tight hamstrings. Um, that's totally fine as well. Again, you know, this is one of those restorative postures. So I just want you to do you whatever feels right. Make sure you shift that weight forward, lift your hips, engage those quads to release the hamstrings, engage the core to release your back. Just let that head, let, let all that blood kind of go into your brain. So really getting that great you know, benefit of the inversion of a nice cleanse. Last few seconds here. Your weight forward. Change. Come up slowly. Use your core strength. Come up slowly. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, arms down. And three. So you might notice your heart rates down. You might notice like all that blood went in the brain. You can go back into the body. Second set, inhale, arms up. Take a nice step to the right, arms down parallel. So get feet straight or pigeon toe. Stretch your arms like you want to fly. Chin out, belly in, slowly come forward. Take your time. You're keeping that heart open. Hands to the floor or get a grip, whatever works. Yeah, relaxing into it. Use that grip if you've got it to kind of pull the stretch more into your spine. Again, engaging the quads to release the hamstrings, engaging that core to release the back, shifting that weight forward, breathing. It's always good to like get fresh blood in the brain and that's super, super cleansing. So just kind of let that happen. It's good to let your internal organs hang upside down, have a little party, no gravity for them for the next few seconds here. And it's kind of moving everything around. It's great cleansing for the blood. It's great for the lymphatic system as well. Last few seconds and change. Come up slowly. Just take your time. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, your arms down. And breathe. Let all settle. All right, triangle focus. Inhale, arms up. Take a big step to the right, arms down parallel. Nice wide step, ankles under wrist. Right toes out, left toes straight on or in. Bend that right knee and sink down. Get that thigh parallel. Keep that left leg locked. And now just reach out, right elbow, right knee. Chin to the left shoulder. Look up with your eyes. Beautiful trying to That's great. Got that. If you can, that right thigh parallel to the floor. 
your right knee is stacked over that right ankle or heel. So it's not poking out over the toes. Um, just keep it kind of in that nice uh, line with the ankle and the heel. Change back to center out of the lunge, switch feet. Left toes out, right toes in. Heels in one line. Then that left knee and sink down. So get that thigh parallel. And then just reach out and pivot exactly elbow to exactly knee if you can. It's always okay to uh, rest the elbow on the knee if you, if you want to do that. That's perfectly fine. Try not to dump all your weight there, though. You still want to use that core strength, that oblique strength to kind of hold yourself up. Now, chin to the shoulders like you want to kiss that shoulder. Let your eyes go up. Change. Back to center. Out of the lunge. Inhale, arms up, feet together. Exhale, your arms down and breathe. So big breath. That's a warrior pose. Give yourself a chance to bring that heart rate down. Lengthen your exhales. And let's do it again. Inhale, arms up. Take that big step to the right, arms down parallel. So again, ankles under wrist. Right toes out, left toes in. Then that right knee and sink down. Get that thigh parallel, left leg locked. Here we go. Reach out, right elbow, right knee. Just like a windmill. Chin to the left shoulder, look up with your eyes. So kind of like in a mini spine twist. That left shoulder back a little bit. Um, opening up the chest. You can push that right knee back with that right elbow to kind of open up that hip more and more. Your core is engaged. Again, you're working every part of your body here. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Change. Back to center. Out of the one with the last one of these left toes out, right toes in. Bend that left knee and sink down. Get that thigh parallel. Right leg is locked as you reach out. Left elbow, left knee. You're more flexible in the second set. Give yourself a little bit of uh, more maybe room to, to move here. Um, left thigh, maybe parallel to the floor, push that left knee back with that elbow, eyes go up, last few seconds, make sure that right leg is super strong, like totally have that right foot on the floor, change, back to center out of the lunge, inhale, arms up, feet together, exhale, your arms down, nice work, so top of the mountain here, take a big inhale, take a nice long exhale, just a couple of more then. Inhale, arms up. Palms together. Just cross your thumb. So step right, three feet or so, arms stay up. Pivot on those heels toward the right and just twist your hips. So twist, square those hips off. Lengthen up, tuck your chin and round and slowly one vertebra. Fingertips to floor, forward to knee, eyes open, back, round. So feel free to bend that right knee as much as you need to. Put that forehead on the knee. Um, and then, you know, use your fingertips to support you, but don't send any stress up and on your shoulders. Your fingertips can be on either side of your foot, in front of your foot, or maybe back of your foot. Change. Come up slowly. Just root to rise using that core strength. Pivot front, pivot left, and twist your hips. So square your hips off. Twist, twist, twist. Lengthen up, tuck your chin, and round it. Then one vertebra at a time. Fingertips to floor, forehead to knee, eyes open, back, round, belly in. So getting that feeling in your throat that your throat is choked is not the most comfortable feeling, but that means the posture is working. So you get that choked off feeling in the throat. We're working on the thyroid. It's so great for the endocrine system, the hormones, the metabolism. Change. Now push the floor away with the feet. Come up one vertebra at a time. Pivot front, feet together, exhale your arms down. So take a breath here, let all that blood go back around your throat. It's where you've got that compression and you get that nice so. Second step, inhale, arms up, palms together, other thumb on top, step right three feet or so. Pivot on those heels toward the right. Twist your hips. Imagine you're grabbing a piece of paper between your thighs. Lengthen, tuck, round. So you tuck your chin, you just keep it tucked the whole time. Fingertips to floor, forehead to knee. Eyes open. So again, it's not comfortable with that throat choked, but in that, that means it's working. You might feel more saliva in your mouth, working those salivary glands. And this is also your third eye, that middle of your forehead, 
kind of touching or as close to the knee as you can, really working on that intuition. Change, come up slowly to stack your spine one vertebra at a time. Pivot front, pivot left. Last one, twist your hips, twist the twist. Lengthen, tuck, and around. Then one vertebra at a time. No rush getting in and out of the top. The fingertips to floor for it. You know, you're building strength as you get in and out of it. So not just in the posture, but you know, building that core, building that posture. So I stay open. The throat is choked. Keep breathing. And maybe a little more weight in that front foot. You're trying to level off those hips. Both feet solidly on the floor. Change. Again, just make your way up. One more. Shut up last. Pivot front. Feet together. Exhale. Arms down. Nice work, guys. Big All right, last standing pose. We do one set of tree slash toe, feet together. Plant that left foot, inhale right foot up, grab from underneath by the toes, relax your knee down, right hand up. Now, if you're a toe stander, go ahead, bring both hands up and bend one in the way. The trees, you know, trees is an amazing posture. So feel the rootedness, feel the lift. It's like a tree. You want to be grounded at the same time, really. So trees, imagine someone's got a string on your head lifting you up and your shoulders just melt. Toes, if you're there, come on back up. We got a tree. Everybody change. Feet together, arms by the side. Ground the right foot. Inhale, left foot up. The same thing. Grab from underneath by the toes. Relax your knee down. Left hand up, and if you're doing toe stand, go ahead. You did on one side. Trees, again, make sure you're not forcing the knee at all. This is a hip opener, not so much about the knees at all. So, great hip opener. From the last, from, from this is the last time you're going to be balancing on that standing leg. Your shoulders in one line, your hips in one line. Again, trees, lengthen your spine, pull your belly in, be nice and rooted. Toes come up into trees. Everybody change. Feet together. Stand up tall and just acknowledge your standing series. That's what's super hard. It's okay. All right, and then go ahead. If you move the mat and then do that, go ahead. However, you get there, it's time for Savasana in the feet. So just relax <clears throat> wherever you are. Savasana maintains your moving meditation when you're still. So remember this whole practice is your meditation. It's wonderful to be able to turn your head off when your body is, you know, holding a posture. You find yourself in this position. You need to just focus yourself 100% so your head turns off. But sometimes when that body's still, find yourself thinking about something else, just reel that mind back in. Let's go back to your head. Take another deep breath here. Big inhale. Big exhale. And let's start our floor series when you're moving pose. Inhale, right knee up. Interlace your fingers on top of your leg right below the kneecap. And as you exhale, just pull that knee to the shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. So you're kind of pulling that knee in. Keep those elbows in close. Try to relax your right leg and foot totally, your ankle too. Um, that left calf muscle should be on the floor. Change, right leg down. Inhale, left knee up. Interlace, exhale, and pull. Knee, shoulder, knee on the Right calf down. So you might flex those right toes towards your face if that works for you. Your shoulders and hips are, are pretty much solid on the floor. You want to feel that compression on that left side behind. 
change, left leg down, inhale both legs up. Give yourself a big hug. Squeeze your knees together and into the body. Relax your feet and ankles. You know, keeping your head on the floor, but you can tuck your chin and kind of stretch the back of the neck. And feel that compression a little higher up. Roll your tailbone down. Get as much of that spine on the floor as you can. Change, relax, release, savasana. Just let it go. Let the blood go back around hips, knees, but really that lower digestive tract. So we're working on our digestion. We are strengthening our immune system. Second set, inhale, right knee up. Inner legs, other thumb on top, exhale, knee, shoulder, knee on top. Left half down, then elbows in, relax your shoulders, use that bicep strength, feel that compression right side body. So getting to the ascending column on the side. Change, right leg down, inhale, left knee up. Inner legs, exhale, and pull. So that exhale gives you that flexibility, you can use it, pull that knee. Right half down, left leg, foot, and ankle relax. Can't hurt yourself in this posture. Squeeze that knee in closer. Change, left leg down. Inhale, both legs up. So give yourself a hug. Put the other arm on top. It's going to be the one that feels a little less natural to you. Squeeze those knees in. Relax those feet and ankles. And tuck your chin. Keep the low back on the floor, but try rolling that whole spine as flat as you can get it. Getting the descending, I mean, sorry, yeah, the transverse one is a little bit higher up. That's what you're focusing on. Change, relax, release, savasana. So every time you're in savasana, you find the spot on the ceiling, you find your breath, just relax. Next is our first sit up. If you need to skip it, skip it. Otherwise, feet together, arms up, low back down, make it strong. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale. And roll over for cobra. Spine strengthening as you lie on your belly here, facing the facing forward. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders, fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders, elbows in close, chin on the towel. Now get a cobra tail, make your legs super strong here. Squeeze those legs together, inhale and come up, lift up. So you're using your low back strength here. It's not about your arms. You want to use that low back. Look up. Let your body follow your eyes. Lift up. Breathe up. And change. Chin touches. Look right. Left ear down. Relax. Release. Let it go. So here, if you can just get your ear on the towel and kind of let that neck relax, that can feel pretty good. Find one point for yourself to look at. Second set, palms underneath the shoulders, fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders, elbows in close, chin on the towel. Squeeze those legs together, get a nice cobra tail, inhale and lift up, look up, eyes up, go up, breathe up, shoulders down. Keep looking up, keep that cobra tail strong, lift up, look up and change. Chin touches, look left, right or down, relax, release, let it go. So again, breathing, back rises and falls, just kind of that little back massage to feel good. All right, next is locust. So lift your hips and bring your hands and arms underneath your body. Palms down, just have them facing forward, facing down. And if you're, you know, if you're feeling any pain in your arms or anything, just leave your arms out, chin on the towel. So point your right toes, stretch that leg, and lift that right leg up. So just the right leg is working here. The left leg is relaxed. Try to get every muscle in that right leg working all the way from the glute to the toes. Change, right leg down. Point the left toe, stretch that leg, and lift it up. So stretch it, lock it, lift it. Right leg's relaxed. Every muscle in that left leg is working. Lift it, lift it, change. Relax that leg down. Now readjust. Now down to the towel. Squeeze those legs together. Get ready. Inhale, both legs up. Shift that weight forward. Walk and lift the legs up. So both legs are lifting. Both legs are straight. Keep them together. Lift and change. Release. Look right and bring those arms out from under you. 
So letting the you know the blood go back around the, the hands and the wrists is great for all those changes. Second set, lift your hips, hands and arms under you again, palms down. Maybe those baby fingers touch again, or you leave the arms out if you need to. Chin on the towel. Point your right toe, stretch that leg, and lift it up. So the right leg is super strong. Loop the toes, lock the leg, point the toes, lift it maybe just a little bit higher, and change right leg down. Point the left toe, stretch, and lift that leg right up. So the right leg's relaxed. That left leg is working again. Every muscle, glute to toes, feel the skin stretch. Change, relax it down. Readjust, elbows closer, mouth down. Get that air moving in the body. Squeeze those legs together, both legs up. Lock them, lift them, shift that weight forward. You know, weight is in the upper part of the back here. Shift it forward, lift those legs, keep them straight. Change, release, look left, right, or down. And again, bring those arms out. So you let the blood go back around. Great for preventing tennis elbow. Great for preventing carpal. Let's fly, full locust, arms out like wings, palms in line with the shoulders, chin on the towel. So make your arms strong, squeeze your legs together. Inhale and fly, chin up, chest up, look up, lift up, just fly here. This one represents your dream, such a fun posture, really good for the mid back and spine. Keep looking up, breathing up, opening up the chest, the heart, and fly. Chin, chin touches, look right, left ear down. So again, you work hard for a few seconds in between here. You just want to completely relax. Let your back rise and fall. Find a little thing for your eyes to look at. Second set, arms out like the wings. Palms in line with the shoulders, chin on the towel. Squeeze those legs, those arms. Use your breath. Inhale to fly. So as you inhale, it's like a bird catching an air current. You fly up, you lift up, and then you just keep flying with your inhale. You go a little bit higher. Look up, lift up. One more place. Fly, breathe, change. Shin touches on the left, and let it go. Right here, down. Back rising, back fall. So next is... Um, more of us. So bend your knees and grab your feet. And of course, if you need to do bridge or wheel, that's perfectly fine as well. So do whatever feels right for you. Now, if you're doing floor bow, grab those feet a couple inches below the toes, chin on the towel. Wrist are straight. Inhale and kick. Knees up, thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up. Kind of roll forward without bouncing. Just get your head below your heels here. So keep kicking. Keep going, keep breathing. If you kick a little bit stronger, curve that spine up a little bit higher. And change, good. Chin touches, look right, left ear down, let it go. So let that back rise and fall. This um, is really good for the whole back and spine. Nice deep back bend. Second set, again, bridge your wheel spine. Bend your knees, grab your feet if you're doing floor bow. Straight wrists, knees and feet close together. Inhale and kick, knees up, thighs up, chin up, chest up, lift up, look up. And you really open up your heart here, let the kick open up your shoulders. Strong kick, strong spine, curve up, kick up, lift up, change. Nice work, chin touches, look left, right or down. And just let that little mini series go. Take a second, let your whole back rise as you and fall as you exhale. All right, if you want to drop back to a little child's pose here, sometimes that feels good. Stretch your hips back, stretch your arms forward, and then we'll do a set of pigeons before we do our face mount. All right, so let's do let's do our pigeons. Start on the right side. So Come up, however you get there, through a plank or down dog. Bend that right knee. Um, straighten that left leg back. And just see what feels good for you here. 
So you can stay up, you can drop yourself down. You know, don't overdo it. This is a nice big hip opener, so see how that feels. You can always roll a little more weight to the right if you feel like you, know, you need to take some pressure off that hip. Like Suzanne always said, the hips are our biggest joints. Um, and a lot of times we have, you know, hips, you know, we think that we have back stuff, but it's really coming from the hips. Sometimes vice versa as well. So we want to keep those hips nice and healthy. Nice and cool. Change, come up, the other side, switch the leg. So kick that right leg back, shake it out, and then bring the left knee forward, right leg back. Maybe a stretch. Um, we're letting a lot of stuff go in, in our practice. You know, we, we let a lot of stuff that gets stuck in the body start moving, moving, moving. Um, really, really healthy, just not just physically, but you know, mentally, emotionally. We're letting that really release happen. The right leg straightens out, that left knee is bent. Again, go down all the way, that feels good to you, stay up, somewhere in between, whatever. Change, come up, and then just keep both legs out, and then come up for one set of fixed arm. So coming to the top of your space, separating the knees and feet. So be careful with this posture, even if you have great knees. You know, every day is a little different, so you want to pay attention. You can always stay up. You can do one leg at a time. You can skip the whole on posture if you want. It's up to you. Uh, some people can go all the way back and just make it so easy, but you know, again, just don't overdo it. You're still getting the benefits, even if you stay up. Notice that the tops of the feet are on the floor. Notice that, you know, your, your knees stay down. And if everything feels good and you want to go further, you can go all the way back. Let your chin and your chest grab opposite elbows. And wherever you are in this, try to relax your knees, your ankles, your feet. Change. Come up slowly. Use your support here. Hands to feet. Let it feel awkward. Use your shoulders, elbows, hands. Kick your legs back so that blood starts moving. And then turn around for some loss. And I'll let it go. So now you get that fresh blood around the knees. Get that rush of blood, that's where the healing happens. Our knees don't feel a ton of blood supply, which is why they take forever to heal. So, right here, they just get that nice rush of, rush of fresh oxygen rich blood. All right, so we sit, sit up, we're going to be feet together, arms up, low back down. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Let's do that, animals. Come around, half. It's Japanese style, knees together, feet together, toes and toes up. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, cross your thumbs. Now lengthen up and slowly come forward. So link, 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 let your forehead touch, let the edge of the baby fingers touch, hips back to heels. Stretching in opposite directions. Now keep inching your fingertips forward. So you really open your shoulders, scapula. Maybe the tips of your middle fingers are touching here. Hips again to heels. Lengthening your spine. This is a great posture. Raise your heart rate down. Gives you some energy. You can do it any time throughout your day. Stretch. Lengthen. Look at that third eye. That intuition center is going to be activated to you as well. Change. Squeeze your legs. Come up slowly. Exhale, arms down. Just take a breath here. Kind of notice your heart rate's down. You've got good alignment for that spot. Let's do camel. Stand up on your knees. Knees and feet are about six inches apart. Take this one slowly so you don't get lightheaded. Hands to back. For support, push your hips forward. Bring your elbows close together. Open your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your time to slowly drop your head back. Chest lifted, hips forward. So not, you know, not collapsing into this. You still want your chest lifted, stomach, hips, thighs forward. You're going up, out, and over. So this is our deepest back that we do. 
pretty intense posture. You feel a little loopy. Try to shift your eyes up towards the sky. And change. Come up slowly. Use your hands for support. Sit down. Take a breath. Give yourself a chance to kind of absorb that. Because again, a lot happens in the animal. You might feel your heart pounding. You might feel a little loopy. Grab it, hands to feet. So you know, use the towel, use your hands either way. Lengthen up, tuck your chin, and round in. Forehead to knees, top of the head of the floor. Now grab your heels full and lift your hips. So keep that weight in your grip. You're uh, doing, you've got a little weight on your head, so you just don't want to turn your head right or left, but most of it's in that grip. Press your heels together, shoulders away from the ears, belly in. Try to exhale all the air out of your lungs in this deepest form. And change. As you inhale, roll up. Slowly stack your spine one vertebra at a time. Turn around. Savasana. Relax your legs. Let it go. Those three postures great for the back and spine. So half tortoise gives you length. Camels are deepest back bend. Rabbits are forward bend. Deepest forward bend. So you're getting your spine healthy and strong. So a couple of things coming up. On Sunday, we have a wonderful um, uh, class. It's going to be 45 minutes. It's uh, Zoom, our online class, and it's free. Um, and it's mental health. So it's about, like, stress and ways to manage it and how, you know, your yoga practice fits in with that, taught by a wonderful therapist named Mandy Morrison, who comes to yoga and has really generously offered her time. So check that out at 11 o'clock on Sunday. You can all use a little... Few more tools to relieve stress. Let me try that. All right, strong sit up, feet together, arms up, low back down. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Check it set, animals. Come around. Japanese style for half towards knees together, feet together, toes and heels touching. Inhale, arms up, palms together, other thumb on top. Lengthen up, stomach in. Slowly come forward, link, 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 all the way down. Forehead touches first. Edge of the baby fingers, hips to heels. Again, find your own half towards the center. Stretching your arms forward, you know, hips to heels. Maybe they don't touch all the way if you've got, um, you know, tight knees. That's okay. Do what's right for you. Keep pinching those fingertips forward, lengthening your spine. And this one brings your heart rate down. Just a nice restored posture. Stretching, lengthening, stretching. Change. Squeeze your legs. Come up slowly. Exhale, arms down. And just take a breath. Second set, you know, stand up on your knees. Knees can be wider. Feet should still be about six inches apart. Hands to back. Push the hips forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale and take your time. Slowly go back. Hips forward. Open up your chest. And go all the way back if you're ready. Hands to heels. But you can also support your back with your hands, which is perfectly fine. Hips forward. Chest open. We're opening up all those chakras that live along the front of the body. Those energy wheels. We're also opening up our communication center. So in addition to the physical, we can speak a great back there. This is a big release sometimes. Change. Take your time. Come up slowly. Sit down. If you have a mirror, look in your eyes. You're like, what just happened? Just let it settle through. Second set round. Hands to feet. You can use a towel if you want to. Lengthen up, tuck your chin, and round it. Just kind of dive in here, keeping your stretch up the whole time. Pour it to knees, grab your heels full, lift your hips. So again, a deepest forehead. You're trying to keep the forehead from the connection, pulling your belly in, rounding your back, deepest forehead. Feel the compression down the front of your body, and then that whole release all down that back of the spine. Exhale all the are out of your lungs and change as you inhale to stack your spine, come up slowly, turn around, savasana, relax your knees. Great job, home stretch. Just a couple more postures with final breathing. Savasana. 
So that's this Sunday, the uh, therapy, free therapy hour. And then next Sunday, we have a, a session with Rue about yoga. And again, kind of de-stressing. Uh, question and answers, you'll be able to ask questions. It's Zoom, through Zoom. Again, that's free as well. And I'll talk about some of the particular postures. All right, strong, sit up, feet together, arms up, low back down. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale, four to All right, come around, right leg out, left knee bent. Right leg straight, bend the left knee, sole of that left foot on the right and the thigh. Inhale, arms up, interlace your fingers, lengthen, tw twist, and round down, four to me. Roll back on your toes. Now, you can bend that knee up to meet your forehead. Totally fine, you wanna get the four to me, Want to pull back on your toes. Center your body over your leg. Your shoulders are in one line. And just stretch. This is a great stretch for the leg, for the Achilles tendon, for the back. It's also a good practice for standing the tendon. Change. Come up and switch legs. Left leg out, right knee in. Sole the foot on the thigh. Lengthen, twist, and round. For it to knee. Pull back on those toes. So again, stretching, knee bent or leg straight, either way. Elbows come down, forehead to knee. And when, you know, again, when you get the forehead to knee connection, you're working on that thyroid, you're working on that third eye. So there's a lot going on here. Stretch, stretch, change. Come up, both legs out. Lie back, do a sit up, and then you can come right back up. Exhale, exhale. Bend your knees, grab your big toes, peace sign fingers. Walk those hips back, right, left, right, left. So your feet, like you're, you're standing, you know, on your weird mirror or wall, whatever. Feet are flat. Your knees might be bent. You want to kind of wiggle those hips back and just keep your spine as straight as you can. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees. Stretching. If you want to drop your head towards the end, that's perfectly fine. Round into it. Whatever feels good. Change, release, just lie back. It's a boss. Let's see what they're looking to stay right in there. So the schedule for the Zoom classes, I should tell you that. So tomorrow, like like we have been doing, we have a um, class with staff, Facebook, and YouTube. And then starting Friday, our Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the Zoom classes are going to be at 6 p.m. for 75 minutes. On the weekends, they will be at 11. Saturday will be a regular. Class. Sunday will be it's usually a special event like we're having these next couple of weekends. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, for you morning people, we're doing a 6.30 a.m. Zoom class on Tuesday, Thursday. So a little something for everybody. Strong, sit up, feet together, arms up, low back down. Inhale, come up, sit up. Exhale, exhale. All right, spine twist. Bend that left knee. Bring the right foot over the left knee corner. If you need to, keep your left leg straight. Go for it. Right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm up, over, and around, and twist. So your hips are level, belly in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, and twist. Just kind of ring out your spine. Ring out those internal organs. Pull your belly in as you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, twist it out. Ring it out. Look over that shoulder. Twist. And change, unwind, switch legs. So same thing other side, right knee bent or straight, whatever you did on one side. Left foot over right knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, right arm up, over and around, and grab that new hand. Belly in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, and twist. Look over that left shoulder, bring it out. Twist it out. Inhale for length, exhale to twist. Beautiful job, guys. Lengthen up. Keep those hips level. Twist it one more time. Change. Unwind. Just shake your legs out. We're going to move into our final breathing. So get your set up Japanese style or cross leg either, either way. Want your spine straight and your belly relaxed. So just kind of you know, getting, getting ready. You're, you're going to pull your belly in and just force this air out of your mouth. One set, and just let the inhales happen. Get ready, here we go. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Four, 
love you guys. Thank you for joining us today. Turn around and relax in your final sabasa. And listen, don't cheat yourself out of this. This is an important part of your practice. This is one of the postures, you know, like all the others. So give yourself a couple of minutes if you can. Let yourself absorb everything you've done. Take some nice deep breaths. Really relax here. Work to every part of your body. So just let all that goodness settle in. Have a wonderful evening, guys. We will see you again very soon.